Hello everybody, welcome back to the Bears Den, it's the Bear465, and I've been playing with a lot of new players and I absolutely love it, but I wanted to go over a couple of things with your power level and your survivor squad, so I hopped into one of my lower accounts, this is power level 44. So once again, over here, the big number that's over here on the left hand side of the screen, that's your power level, right? So those are the um, the missions that you can get into. <clears throat> not saying you can't get into a 45 or a 47 or a 50, but it's not recommended that you do. The next one, actually let me move this out of the way. It won't move. Mm, okay. Yeah, maybe that, maybe that, hello? Maybe that'll move. No, it won't move. Interesting. Can I shrink it? Nope. No, it won't move. All right. Well, over next the next level, next to your V-Bucks, it says LV. That's your XP level, right? And those that level helps you get your upgrades and things like that that you need, right? But I want to talk about your power level. So if you go into your command tab, go into your survivors, go into squads, right? So these are all your squad members that I personally have in this account as of right now. It's power level 44. Ultimately, you would like to have all mythic leads and all legendary survivors. Until you get that, you use what you have, right? So when I first start an account from scratch, I turn on autofill so that any kind of survivors that I get, eventually it will go into the autofill and I can fix them later once I start getting mythic or legendary leads. So as you upgrade these survivors and leaders, your power level will increase. So if I go into, we'll pick this and pick this and upgrade and inspect this guy and I'll level him up as much as I can. I'll evolve him if I can. <laughs> I do have drops of rain. I'll level them up again, evolve them again. See, I'm power level 45 now. Level them up again. And I can't do anything else until I unlock the campaign quest, Candy Valley, Storm Shield Defense number six, right? So I can't do anything until after that. Now, what happens when I replace him for another survivor right so if I go in and I go into the squad and I go to him and I want to change him uh, let's pick I don't know just for the sake of anything let's pick this guy here right now the cool thing is, is that I can go back into my survivors, find the guy I just leveled up. My bird has a lot to say, by the way. Where was he? He was a cowboy guy, right? He was a purple cowboy guy. Where'd he go? Oh my lord, really? Well, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's stuck him somewhere else. I don't know. But, like, this one here is a power level 76. I can either collect them if, if they can go in the collection book or I can retire them. And I'm going to get back everything that I put in there. Right? So it doesn't hurt you to upgrade your blues and greens and purples. It doesn't hurt you to upgrade them while they're in your squats. 
Because as you replace them with your legendaries, you can then go back and either put them in your collection book if they if there's space, or retire them, which means they'll be gone completely, and you'll get back everything that you put into them. Right? So I wanted to share that with you guys and put that video out there to you all. As there's new people trying the game, I was super excited to watch Cypher PK do the video on, on uh, Save the World. It was really cool to watch him play that for a little bit. And just to help you out, right? So the more you increase your squads, the more you increase the power level of your squad members, the more power level you're going to be. And as you gain more survivors by either doing missions or going into the llama shop and getting these llamas, right? The better off you will be, your power level will increase. And as you get your legendary survivors and your mythic leads and you collect or retire the old ones, you're going to get everything back so you're not losing anything. The great quality of life that Epic added for us. All right, so if you like it, if you like the material, drop a like on the channel, subscribe for more information. And uh, thank you all for using code DeBear465 in the item shop. Have a great day, team, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.